Cricketers and welcome to Cricketing with Delonda. It's me again, Delonda. And if you are watching this video on October 1st, today is my birthday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you haven't already noticed, I'm wearing pink. I'm not wearing Rockets gear because for the month of October, I will be acknowledging and celebrating um, cancer awareness. So for the whole month of October in every single tutorial that I do, I will be wearing some shade of pink. All right, let's not get, um, let's not waste any time. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to add HTV to Canvas to go from this to this. I know it's beautiful. I know you can't wait to learn how to make it. So without further ado, let's head on over and look at the materials you will need to create a design just like this. Step one in this process and how to add heat transfer vinyl or HTV to canvas. The first thing of course is to gather your supplies. For this tutorial, I will be using my Cricut Explore Air 2. Um, I'm going to use a device. I'm using my laptop and it will it is compatible with Cricut Design Space. Okay, I'm using a canvas that is 11 by 14. I know the size because I purchased these in a package. So I know the size already. If you don't know the size, I suggest, you know, I do have a ruler on here as um, one of your supplies. So the one I'm using is 11 by 14. I will need heat transfer vinyl. Of course, I'm going to show you some different options for using for heat transfer vinyl because you don't always have to use the Cricut brand. So let me put my paper down and show you some options. Remember Care G, um, this is one of the uh, brands of heat transfer vinyl that I like. The reason why I like this one is because it is hot or cold peel and this package comes with 45 sheets of various colors and I honestly for this tutorial when I was looking through this package uh, one thing I noticed is that there were three different well there were multiple options but these colors of pink these two look the same um and there was this color pink i think i'm going to use this one let me turn on the other light so you can see it very well i don't know if that helped okay so hopefully that helped but um, i'm going to be using probably using this one for this tutorial but you have just several options this is another um heat transfer vinyl i know it's heat transfer vinyl because it doesn't have the lines the squares on it this is um uh, caesar easy wheat in pink you know you just have multiple options I, these are all of the pink ones that i could find here at home so all of these are heat transfer vinyl and i'll need those i'll need heat transfer vinyl for this project okay um i will need my standard grip cutting mat the standard grip cutting mat is the one that is green okay it says Cricut standard grip mat okay I'll need a heat source without steam preferably a heat press now you can add vinyl HTV to a canvas with um, an iron but it's 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 a hard task because when you're adding heat transfer vinyl to canvas it requires a lot of uh, pressure in a very high heat setting and without having you know a, a definite setting and using an iron this project would take much longer than it needs to so you know I would definitely suggest using a heat press and not an iron I'm not saying it's impossible with an iron but if you are going to use an iron you need one with no steam and you need one that's going to allow you allow you know heat up very high and you need space to add a lot of pressure when you're adding the HTV to the canvas. You'll need a weeding tool. I'm going to be using my Cricut weeding tool. You will need a Teflon sheet. Now that bag of Care G um, HTV actually comes with a Teflon sheet. Um, but I, so it comes with the Teflon sheet in the, it's the one that looks like this. So you wonder if you bought a package of Care G and you got that one, you're like, what is that? That's the Teflon sheet. I'm going to use this bigger one though, um, that I have. I just want to use this one tonight. 
So any size Teflon sheet, as long as it covers the design, you will need a design. I'll show you the one I'm going to use. I purchased it in a bundle from Design Bundles. Um, you'll need a ruler if you're unsure about the size of your canvas. And, you know, I would definitely say write down the size if you're unsure. But I've already told you mine is 11 by 14, so I already know that. And then you'll need a towel or something to place under the canvas for support. I'm going to show you um, how I will use mine when we get to that part. But I have a towel, the same towel that I used um, in the Tumblr tutorial. And I also have a big, thick textbook that will fit right under the canvas. And I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. So I've gone through every single supply. I will go ahead and check that off. And then we will move over to um, look at the design that I'm going to use. And then from there, we will go over to Cricut Design Space. Okay, the file that I'm using, I purchased in a bundle from Design Bundles. Um, it was in this bundle right here and I paid $2 for it. Um, it's currently still $2 as of September 29, 2021. Um, and, you know, there are just multiple options. I'm using one of the files from the Cancer Awareness Bundle. Um, and the file that I will be using looks just like this. I'm using the one that is the hearts ribbon. Okay. So if you are interested in purchasing this bundle, I will um, leave a link down below in the description for you to go in and purchase this exact same. Bundle. I am in Cricut Design Space and number two on the list says open Cricut Design Space, open the shapes tool and choose a square. So I will go over here to the left. Click on shapes, choose a square. Okay, number three, unlock the square and resize the shape to match the size of your canvas. So I'm going to unlock it. I just click this unlock button and I am going to resize this to the size of the canvas. So I want mine to be wider than it is long. So I'm going to change the width to 14. I'm going to change the height to 11. So because mine is 11 by 14, which is also the same thing as 14 by 11. I'm going to reduce the size of my view so I can see the whole canvas. Okay, just moving it over. All right, I am on number four. Upload the design that you plan to use on your canvas. Your design should be uploaded as a cut image because you are using heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to upload. I already have it uploaded, but I'm going to show you how I uploaded it. I'm going to go to browse and wherever you have it saved on your device. So mine is saving the 700 bundle. It's the huge bundle of SVGs, cancer awareness, and mine is the hearts ribbon cancer. Okay. And I'm uploading this as a cut image. Okay. I want to click upload. Okay. There it is. I want to click add to canvas. All right. Number five. Number five says place your uploaded image on top of your template and send it to the front so that you can see it. All right. It's already on the front so I can see it. All right. Number six, resize your image to fill the template. Unlock it if you need to. Now, in order for me to, you know, resize this, I might need to unlock it. But let me see what happens if I just, you know, try to resize it a little bit bigger. See, it lets me resize it and it looks fantastic the way that it's resizing. Um, and I don't, I did not need to unlock it. Okay. I like this size. I like the way that this looks. And when I get ready to put it on my canvas, I think this is the perfect size. Now, if I wanted to go a little bit bigger, you know, let's just say I wanted to fill up the whole thing. I would need a bigger cutting mat. Okay. And because I, I've already shown you the materials, we're not going to explore that tonight. All right. Okay. Number seven, when you have everything in place, the way that you want it to look, remove the template by clicking on the eye in the layers panel. Now, before I do that, let me say this for Cricut experts who are ready to not just place um, HTV on canvas, but they are ready to layer multiple colors. You might notice that the ribbons in this heart, let me make this bigger so you can see it. 
there are multiple colors of pink in this design. There's light pink and hot pink and, you know, darker pink. We are not there yet. We will be using one sheet of vinyl and we will not be layering multiple colors of hearts. That is a tutorial for a whole other day. We're not there. Okay. So we are going to stay in our lane. In our, we are staying in our lane and I'm right there in the lane with you. You are not alone in that lane. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I want to use one sheet of vinyl, is that I am going to attach those. So I clicked attach, and if you can tell, now all of my hearts are the same exact color, and to me, it looks beautiful. All right, now what I do want to do is change the size of this width. I think I want this to go just right to 11.5. Let me see what that does. I like that. I like that okay so my the size of this design is 11.5 by 9.791 which you won't need because what will matter is the size canvas that you have and the size that of the design you're going to use all right so once you have your entire design you are ready to click make it now let me first let me go ahead and um everything is attached i like to also weld it okay i'm going to just weld it you don't have to do this that's why it's not on the list but i just want to have one solid clean cut design and i am choosing to weld it okay so now i have a welded design all right and that's just how i want it now this black layer this canvas remember i said for number seven you're going to turn that off because you don't need it all right so this is the design. I'm ready for it. I'm going to click make it. All right. That was number eight. Number nine, when you are on the next screen, click the button to mirror your design. Remember, when you are using heat transfer vinyl, you have to mirror your design. So I'm going to go ahead and mirror that. I click the mirror button. That is very, 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 very important. Number 10, change your cut setting to iron on if you are using a Cricut Explore Air 2. If you are using a Cricut Maker, you would go into your um, cut settings and you would select Everyday Iron On. Okay, I have it on the list just in case you forget. Number 11. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, place my one sheet of vinyl on my mat face down. Okay. I'm going to have the shiny side down. So everything that I'm going to do from here on out is going to be back on the camera. We are finished with the Cricut Design Space portion of this tutorial. And if you are still here with me, thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. We have, uh, let's see, we are on number 11. We have, I don't see my other sheet. I think we have five four or five more steps. So you are in the home stretch. You are in the home stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click continue and go back to the camera. All right, I'm back on the camera. And remember for my canvas, it was 14 by 11. I'm not gonna write that down because yours will depend on the size canvas you use. All right, we've done number two, which was to open Cricut Design Space. And we selected a tool. Okay, we unlocked the square. We've done all of this, you guys. So kudos to you if you are still here with me. Number four, upload the design you plan to use on your canvas. Your design should be uploaded as a cut image. I have highlighted um, important things for you to remember. All right, so we've done number four. That was everything on that sheet. All right, on this one, number five, place your uploaded image on top of your template. We did that. Number six, resize your image. We did that. Number seven, when you have everything in place, we've done that. Number eight, select your, we've done that. Look at it, you guys. Number nine, you're on the next screen. Don't forget to mirror. I have that highlighted. If you forget to mirror, you're basically wasting, wasting vinyl. And if you have money that you just want to throw away, I will definitely give you my address. Number 10, change your cut setting to iron on if you're using a Cricut Explore Air 2. So I am using my Cricut Explore Air 2. Let me show you. you know, if you're using your Cricut Maker, you don't have that dial 
you have to choose the cut settings when you're still in Cricut Design Space. All right, so number 10, we've done that. All right, number 11, place your heat transfer vinyl, which is HTV, on your mat, shiny side down, and allow your Cricut machine to cut, Cricut cutting machine to cut out the design. Now, I told you that I am using the vinyl from the package of CareG, and I'd also like to show you how I place mine on the, the mat. Okay, when you're using heat transfer vinyl, you guys, don't forget, let me zoom out, not in. All right, so this is the shiny side. You put the shiny side down. Okay, I'm gonna put the shiny side down. So once I put the shiny side down, I shouldn't be able to see the color of the vinyl. Okay, some people use a brayer. Some people just, you know, smooth it out with their hands. You can do it however you wanna do it. Okay, this is not a must have tool. This is not a must have tool. This is Delanda shops more than she needs to. All right, I wanna speed this part up. Okay, it's finished cutting. I can feel it. I believe that I got a good cut. I will unload it and just do a double check. Okay, see, hopefully you can see. They look pretty good and I will speed this part up and get this weeded out because that let's go to our list okay number 11 place your heat transfer we shiny side down we did that number 12 weed out remove the pieces of the design that you don't need that's what I'm getting ready to do right here right now with my Cricut um, weeding tool and I will speed this part up. Okay, I have my design weeded out and what I'm doing right now is just double checking to make sure that I got into the middle of all of those ribbons and that I don't I don't see any mistakes. It looks it's so pretty. I really, I really like it. And I hope that the person who I'm giving this to, I hope they like it too. I do think she will. I do think she will like it. Okay. This is me trying not to get emotional right here. This is me trying not to get emotional. Okay. We are on, I throw my little scraps away. All right, we are on number, that was number 12, to weed out or remove the pieces. So we've done that. All right, let me pick this up. I have my heat press already heating up to 330 degrees. I'm using my Cricut Easy Press for this. All right, we're finished with that page. All right, number 13. If you're using a heat press, allow it to heat up. That's that's what I've been doing. Place a towel or something under your canvas for support and add heat to the canvas for about five to seven seconds. Let me show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move this over for a second. All right, grab my canvas. This is the canvas that I'm using. I'm gonna back, back out. All right, and <laughs> I am going to don't look at it. I am going to use this book. I am going to. Hopefully, you know, you have something sturdy. A piece of wood works perfect. I just did not have a big enough piece of wood, but wood is a perfect item to put right here. If you don't have that, you know, you don't have wood just lying around. <laughs> a towel, if you can, you know, fold it and put a towel under here, you need something to um, add some support under here. So let me show you what I'm going to do with this book. All right. So I have a book there and I have the towel from our tutorial when I did the uh, tumbler. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just place this 11 by 14 canvas right on top of this. It fits perfectly, you guys. So you see, it's just so the book is protected. The towel is what's going to 
um, protect the book. Don't look at that. All right. And now I'm going to use my um, easy press. I have it set to 330 degrees and I am going to just put some heat on it. I'm just going to give it some heat. What number was that? All right, number 14 was place a towel. We did that. And then add heat to the canvas for about five to seven seconds. We did that. Place your design on top of the canvas and then place the Teflon sheet on top of the design. Apply firm pressure for 20 seconds. All right, so. I would definitely say take into consideration the kind of vinyl the brand of vinyl that you're using be careful when you're placing the vinyl down you you want it to be centered well oh look how pretty that is that vinyl looks like it's red i can tell it looks like it's red from the camera but it's not red it is um hot pink and cute and beautiful and lovely and fancy it's all of those things oh my goodness I love this. I love this. Okay, now I'm going to put the Teflon sheet on top of that. Okay. And I am going to give this firm pressure. Okay, let's let's kind of give it a let's give it a look see. I've always wanted to say look see. I don't talk like that. Oh, that looks kind of good. But look, let me zoom in so you can see. Do you see that? It started to peel up right here. Okay, it's right there. It's still peeling up. So I know that I need to give it some more heat and some more pressure and I'm going to do that this would not work well with the clamshell heat press because it's hard to get under there with the book and the towel and blah 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 you would have to take the canvas off the frame and I don't know about you but I don't have time for that Okay, it's kind of there. I would definitely, I would definitely, I am going to add even more heat because I still see that peeling up. Let me do it one more or two more times just to be sure. Okay, I'm ready to peel away and see. That was number that was number 15. Number 15 said place plant says start over Delonda. Number 15 says place your design on top of the canvas, place the Teflon sheet. We did we did that. And then number 16, remove the Teflon sheet and slowly peel back the adhesive to make sure the design is secure on the canvas. If the design starts to peel up, place the sheet back down. So I did that a couple of times. And you know, I'm not gonna say, well, you need to do it five times or 10 times. You need to do it the number of times that you need to do it, depending on the vinyl you have, the canvas you have, the, the heat press you have. Um, I think the towel was giving me some moisture so I wish I would have had a piece of wood that was big enough this this is so oh my goodness 
this is this is beautiful I think I might have to make a t-shirt with the same design that won't be hard because Putting HTV on a t-shirt is not the hardest thing, and I see a mistake, but it's going to have to be okay right there. But look how pretty that is. That is beautiful, and I love it. All right, so hopefully you are able to follow this process uh, with all of the steps outlined for you. And um, if you have any questions, you know, you can always slow the video down. You can rewind it. You can, you know, slow down the speed of the video. Um, you can ask me any questions down in the comments. If you're in my Facebook group, if you want to send me a message via messenger, you can do that. That is the best way to contact me. But um, you can, I'll answer any questions you have. But that is it. This is our finished product and I love it. But thank you for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.